Developing now the urgent search for a 19 year old wanted in a deadly shooting tonight. A member of Orange County's task force aimed at reducing violent crime says the suspect should not have been on the streets in the first place. New 6's Troy Campbell is live tonight for us outside the Orange County Sheriff's Office and Troy the suspect was released from jail less than a year ago. Well, Lisa, according to court records, Trayvon Simmons was released from jail after the state attorney's office dropped um, several felony gun charges um, in that case. Well, tonight in a separate incident, the Orange County Sheriff's Office, they're offering up to $5,000 um, in reward money for information leading to his arrest in a case involving a deadly shooting. So that we as a community, when we are seeing something, saying something, when law enforcement are making arrests, that we don't have multiple cases dismissed. Co-chair of the Orange County Citizen Safety Task Force, Bishop Kelvin Cobaris, says this notice by the state attorney's office to not file charges against 19-year-old Trayvon Simmons last May put the community at risk. Court records show Simmons was arrested after he was found riding in a stolen vehicle where several guns were also located. In July, charges were dropped against Simmons and he was released from jail. But if there are no prosecution and all we're doing is dropping cases, dropping cases, dropping cases and nothing sticks, these same guys are being released right back into the public to do harm to not only the person that they were targeting the first time, but now the people who gave a tip about them to turn them in. The Orange County Sheriff's Office says Simmons shot and killed 26 year old Deontay Holmes on Sunday night in Apopka. Deputies have issued a warrant for his arrest. As the Citizen Safety Task Force looks for solutions to stop gun violence, Bishop Cabrera says it's important prosecutors pursue charges against people accused of violent crimes. I want to be careful that I'm not suggesting that uh, we just lock them up because that's not what I'm suggesting. However, there are those who are committing heinous crimes that we can't just slap on the wrist and say that a little rehabilitation is going to fix it. New Six sent an email to the state attorney's office for comment. We'll let you know when we hear back. In the meantime, the Orange County Citizen Safety Task Force will meet again on February 10th. Live outside the Orange County Sheriff's Office, Troy Campbell getting results. News 6. Troy, thank you.